Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Maths and 5 uh, Differentiation Quotient Rule So yeah, this is basics from N4 So I hope you still have an idea what Quotient Rule is Because now in, in N5 when you do In differentiation, they, they just combine all the rules together So you have to know if you, if I'm going to have this divided by this It's a Quotient Rule, if they multiply the product rule So I just want us to recapture that and do a few examples so it will be quotient rule and other rules, but the main thing is quotient rule. Okay, so so this is the formula you have from your formula sheet. So under quotient rule, so you have so if you go to differentiation, you have the first formula for for Newton's theorem. Then you have product rule and quotient rule and chain rule, I think. Okay, so if under quotient rule saying if your y is a function u over function v so if i have two different functions dividing then every time you should think if they're dividing you should think of a quotient rule so your answer will be v squared it will be v squared at the bottom at the top you'll have v times the derivative of u minus u times the derivative of of, of u so that's Let's do this. Let's say I have y equals to x over sin x. Do you see, we know the one at the top is always u, the one at the bottom is v. So my answer will be what? My answer will be v, v is sine, times the derivative of the one at the top, which is 1, minus what? Minus u which is the one at the top, times the derivative of the one at the bottom, which is v, it's cos, over the one at the bottom squared, always. Let's, let's not forget this. So sometimes it can be uh, a little bit longer. So let's say they can give you e exponent, uh, let's say, Okay, I want to make it a bit long. Okay, let me make it with lean. I think it's easier to work. Oh, no, no. With, let me make it with trigonometry. I think let's say I have sine of uh, lean x squared like this over, let's say I have lean x cube yeah something like that so the first thing the first thing always put your v squared at the bottom which is lin x cube all squared then the first one here is you write your v because the formula starts with v times the derivative of the one at the top the one at the top is chain rule you start by if i derive it i'll start by sine so i'll have cos of lean x squared then if i derive lean i have 1 over x squared times 2x there which is the derivative of x squared then minus so this alone this alone was u the derivative of u because this is how you will get questions in n5 then minus what minus sine lean x squared which is now u and we have to multiply by the derivative of v. The derivative of v will be 1 over x cubed times 3x squared. It won't fit here, but we will do questions and you will see them. So I just wanted to first uh, give you a revision of how to use the formula. So yeah, let's do questions. Let me grab my question papers. Okay, um, let's see, November 20, okay, let me look for the question. Okay, here's first question, you have y is equals to 1 minus x over square root of tan x. So I always like to simplify the square root so that when we do our chain rule, it won't be confusing. See, so remember the first answer, 
the first thing you can always do is to divide but uh, let's never mind the divide so let's start this is u over v so the the formula sheet says you have v the v is what the square root of tan times the derivative of u the derivative of u will be minus one if you derive one minus x it's minus one then minus u times the derivative of v if i derive v i'll start with half i'll have half tan exponent minus half it's chain rule then i go i derive tan which is sec squared then i'm done over what over square root of tan squared which will just be tan so you can write it as remember it's over v squared you can write it like this or you can just write tan because you know square root will cancel the square root will cancel square root that's your final answer you don't simplify anything you leave it there that's your final answer you leave it there okay let's do another one okay another one i have y is three tan squared okay let me erase here three tan squared square root of one minus x over two lin cosec cosec what four x that's another one so let's go dy dx remember your answer is one line so the first thing is u this is our u times the derivative of the one at the top if the one at the top is chain rule we'll start with squared 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 is for the whole tan so i'll have six tan this does not change then after squared now where must i go i'm going to tan tan is six squared then after tan, now I must go to the square root. The square root will be a half, 1 minus x, exponent minus half. Then after that, I must go to inside the square root, which is minus 1. You see? Then, okay, I think I should erase and have space, because I don't have space. We'll start it again, don't worry. Uh, excuse me okay let me write let me make sure i have space okay remember i said we start with uh v which is two lin cosec 4x then now the derivative of the one at the top we said the square that there's the two on tan is the main function so it will be six tan square root of one minus x then after squared, we go to tan. Tan will be sec squared. Then after sec squared, we go to the square root. The square root is half exponent minus half. Then inside, nothing changes. Then now we go to inside. 1 minus x is minus 1 if you drive it. Then the formula says minus u. u is 3 tan squared square root of 1 minus x times the derivative of v if i derive 2 lin i'll have 2 over that over cosec i mean because the derivative of lin is it's 1 over everything there so it's 1 over cosec 4x times the derivative of cosec the derivative of cosec if you check your formula sheet it's minus cosec cot so i'll have minus cosec 4x cot 4x then what's the last thing we need times 4 which is the derivative of 4x then everything over v squared v squared everything over v squared remember don't simplify you don't have to do another step cancel cosec and cosec right minus 8 today you don't have to it's not necessary after here they will mark they will mark step by step. They will check how did you do the chain rule of tan squared. Then they give you one one. They don't mark simplified. Because if you simplify your final answer, it's wrong. That's where they will mark and you will be affected. So don't simplify. Leave it there. Okay. Last one. Okay. This one 
uh, this one is a bit different but it also it's chain rule with quotient rule so we will do it we have x lin a over cos a x you see so we have 10 exponent cos and uh, x lin a over cos a x so remember if you derive the exponent first step write it exactly as it is then second step lean of the base second step you multiply by lean of the base then last step you multiply by derivative of the exponent now if i derive the exponent we can see that is quotient rule so quotient rule we know we have to divide by v squared so i will divide by cos ax squared but at the top what do we have we have u i uh, have v times the derivative of uh, x lin a x lin a will be left with lin a because lin a is just a constant so we are only deriving x minus x lin a times the derivative of cos ax which will be negative we know the derivative of cos is negative sine ax times the derivative of ax which is a there this is times let me put this here so you can see times a then you are done just like that you don't do anything else so x lin a remember this is v and this is u prime this one is u this is v prime this one is v squared just like that you are done Okay, guys, remember if you have questions, you can email them or you can leave a comment. Thank you. I'll see you next time.